Hey guys, my name is Erdem, a lazy, boring streamer guy from Twitch that makes a YouTube video once every three months. Yeah, GG idiots. Today, I'm actually here with the second episode of Toho Damaku Bootcamp after... Oh, when did I release the first episode? That was during my stay in Japan and I was in Japan like... I came back three months ago even longer and then I did it during the like middle of my Japan trip so I guess last episode is five months ago so, but hey whatever I don't care and you uh, now get the second episode of Toho Damaku Bootcamp Yay! in this episode I will focus on uh, survivability strats and bullet hitboxes so how can you learn to play the game better um, and what have you, like, how can you find out how big a bullet hitbox is to dodge it correctly and precisely and blah 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 All this stuff. Let's start with the first survivability strat and that's streaming. Uh, you know, in Toho, a lot of attacks are aimed towards your hitbox and they create like a stream of bullets. And that's where streaming comes in part. I do not mean streaming like streaming on Twitch. Hehehehe, <laughs> link in the description. Ah, shameless advertisement. Um, no, it's more like uh, enemies like to shoot bullets in a row directly at your hitbox. And if they do that, you can just like move slowly and slowly. Point by point by point by pop, 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 pop. While the enemies are shooting at you and so they, they never hit you. It gets a little bit stupid, that doesn't happen often, but it ha does happen uh, when you are at the border of the screen and the stream of bullets still continues and somehow you, you ran out of space and then you die. Pachoon. So what do you do about that? Basically what you want to do is you dash quickly into one side direction. Most of the time you don't want to only dash into uh, like the side, but also dash up so that you create a big part, a big hole in that stream. So you must um, think of think of it like stream, blah, 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 blah. then you move, and then it creates like a hole, and then you can stream back. That was completely stupid. I probably have a video somewhere here now, so that you can see how it works. Yeah, the power of video editing. Uh, the second point is misdirection. It's basically the same as streaming, but it's also different. You sometimes also have attacks where the whole attack aims at the beginning of the attack onto your hitbox and then keeps that aim. A good example for this is Parsi's third attack. I think it's the first, uh, third spell card. Yeah, her third spell card. Where she aims at you and then all the bullets are going into that direction and you can basically just move to the side when she shoots it and then you move back and all the bullets are missing you. That's basically how it works. Okay, there's a little bit more to that attack but most of the time you can win that attack with just doing that misdirection strat. The third point is correct death bombing. Uh, usually you know, death bombing isn't really that safe. You usually don't want to death bomb because if you death bomb, it's most of the time you're already too late. You don't want to aim for a death bomb, you want to aim for a normal bomb. And if it's a death bomb, that just means it was very close and you were very close to dying, basically. Because the problem is most of the time, as soon as you realize, oh, I'm going to get hit, I have to bomb now, it's already too late. Your reaction is way too slow to react that fast. The reaction is too slow to react that fast. I'm, I'm so good. Oh, by the way, I used the word react. Fine bros, where are you? <clears throat> oh, just random fine bros shitting. Um, so usually you want to use a bomb as soon as you feel unsafe and not like try to get a death bomb because it's cool to get a death bomb. That's, that's not good. Basically, you already want to die before you would have to use a death bomb. 
Another point that a lot of beginners do completely wrong, it's the correct use of the focus and the unfocus. So basically you have to imagine most of the time you want to be focused. Uh, because focused, does, that doesn't count for all the characters, but for most of them. If you're focused, you deal more damage because your shot gets more... Yeah. It, it loses the spread, the, uh, the wide range, and usually goes into a straighter line. L like I said, that's for most of the shot types, not for all of them. There are exceptions. Just putting it out right here before you write down into the comments, Oh, that's so wrong! Blah, 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 blah. There are exceptions. <laughs> that doesn't count for every shot type. Uh, during bosses you want to be focused most of the time uh, and only unfocus when you have to unfocus because of dodging. There are some attacks where the bullets are pretty fast and then you just need to go unfocused or if in, ba in general if you have to move fast during an attack. But most of the time you want to be focused because focus gives you more control over your character and makes it easier to dodge. Even during stages, um, during stages you want to be more unfocused than during boss fights, but still there's a lot of points where, it's, where it would be good to focus instead of moving unfocused. General rule, the faster the bullet, the uh, more often you have to go unfocused. So if you have slower bullets, you should go focused. And for faster bullets, you should go unfocused because for faster bullets, you need more, you need faster reaction basically. Uh, pretty similar to your field of view. So, how far on the screen are you watching? Or how much of the screen are, can you watch? If you try to focus on the whole gameplay window, that's impossible. Um, you basically need to focus around your character, around uh, your hitbox. So usually I would say try to focus on the lower third of the screen except if you're above that third that would be stupid if you then focus on the lower screen third and then you don't see your character and then you get hit that that would be stupid so yeah. General rule um, the slower the bullets um, the smaller should your field of view be because you can focus more on the character and then you're better with precise dodging. But if the bullets are faster, you need a bigger field of view to see them in time. Basically, you during learning the stages, you know when there are slower bullets and when there are faster bullets, and then you just know how to comp uh, how to correctly use your field of view. The last topic I want to talk about today is the learning of hitboxes. So bullets, they are most of the time they look bigger than they actually are with the hitbox. Like the sprite drawn on the screen is bigger than the hitbox. Um, if you look here, I have an example of a bubble bullet. Uh, this bubble bullet is famous for having a ridiculously small hitbox compared to its sprite. So you can completely disappear with your character in that um, bullet without getting hit. There's also a general rule. Most of the bullets have a white part. Like they are colored on the outside and then they have a white part in the center. That does again does not count for every bullet. For example for this hard bullet um, the actual hitbox is a circle. And that makes the bullet extremely small even though it looks pretty big. But yeah. Uh, also there's the general rule of the bigger the bullet the smaller the hitbox in comparison to the bullet size. So if you have a small dot bullet, it's usually 100% hitbox. But those big bullets, not counting sun bullets, screw sun bullets, they are big. Also hitbox wise, they are big. You can also do some funny dodges with it, but you, they are not as ridiculous as the um, bubble bullets. So pay attention with the sun bullets, but most of the time, the bigger the bullet, the smaller the hitbox. That's it for the second episode of Toho Damaku Bootcamp. In the third episode, hmm, I wonder when I will release that one after waiting five months to create this one, uh, 
we'll tackle the individual game systems. So we will look into every game and into the resource systems behind that game to hopefully make it a little bit easier for you to get a nice clear. I read through all the game systems uh, before really starting playing Toho so that I know what to do. That's pretty uh, important. So if you don't want uh, to wait that long, just go on Toho Wiki and look the strategies for the games up. But if you can't wait that long, next episode, the game systems. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Toho Damaku Bootcamp. If you want to, you can uh, leave a like or a sub. Would support me a lot. And maybe give a little bit more motivation to do more of those videos. And uh, that's it. See you guys next time.